the only thing that's different is um, what are the the think about what the digits are going to be for hexadecimal. That's where these letters are, are going to come from. Remember, your digits are going to be numbers that are positive integers that are smaller than your base. Um, so for 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 decimal, our digits were zero through nine. For binary, our digits were zero and one. For octal, um, I didn't mention this on the previous slide, but um, on the previous example, rather. But for octal, the digits are 0 through 7. So for hexadecimal, our digits are going to be 0 through 15. Um, so we need a way to represent uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 as digits in hexadecimal. So uh, the hexadecimal... digits are 0 through 9 and then we have A, B, C, D, and E. Now what these correspond to are A corresponds to 10, B corresponds to 11, C corresponds to 12, D corresponds to 13, E corresponds to 14, and I left one out. We also have F, which corresponds to 15. Okay. The reason we, we can't just write one zero um, for, for A, for this hexadecimal digit, is because it would be a one and a zero. It would be the one digit and a zero digit, um, which which are, are different things. So we need a way to represent these digits in hexadecimal form other than just writing them in this decimal form. And so this is what we do. But when you're making the expansion, when you're converting from hexadecimal to decimal, when you're converting from base 16 to base 10, um, you know, like right here in the... Um, Zero, one, two, th in the powers of in the third powers place, you'll use a ten to the um, you use use a a ten times eight to the third power. So here's how this works. I feel like I'm making this more complicated than it actually is. So here's how you actually do the calculation. So we have the hexadecimal number two a e zero b base sixteen is going to be equal to two times 16 to the, let's see, to what power? Uh, zeroth power, first power, second power, third power, fourth power. So 16 to the fourth power plus A. Remember, A is 10. So this is going to be 10 times 16 to the third power plus E, but E is 14 times 16 squared plus 0 times 16 to the first, plus b, b is an 11, times 16 to the 0 power. And again, you, you just have to do the multiplication. Get your calculator out and do the multiplication and the addition. And this will be equal to the decimal number, 175,600. Six hundred and twenty-seven, which again, because I want to keep emphasizing it, one seven five comma six two seven base ten, and that's all there is um, converting binary, octal, and hexadecimal to decimal form. Um, you just have to, you know, just expand it out like that. So you take your first digit, and then you multiply it by your base raised to the appropriate power, and you just um, punch it into your calculator, and then you get the answer.